refugee-loving Queenie just infuriated all of his lib friends with what he just accused Hillary of. The American actor, George Clooney, who rapidly supported Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential campaign, this week came straight out and said that he now believes she wasn't fit for the White House. During the interview with The Daily Beast, the A-list actor made his true feelings know about the 2016 presidential Democrat candidate Hillary Clinton, and it was epic. Hillary, for years and years and years, has been the presumptive nominee, and quite honestly, she was incredibly qualified for the job, Clooney told The Daily Beast. But being qualified for the job does not necessarily mean you're the right person to be president. Here's what I mean. She was more qualified than even her husband was when he was elected president, but she's not as good at communicating things. That's simply true. When she got up and gave a speech, it didn't soar. Now, that doesn't mean that she wouldn't have done a great job as president, and I supported her because by the time we did the fundraiser the primary was over at that point and it was time to get on with picking someone to move forward, and she was the right person to side with. Clooney added that he was frustrated by Clinton because I never saw her elevate her game. I never saw it, he added. And I had a lot of liberal friends who were like, she's not good at this. And I see that, and I understand it. I also think, though, that if it was a guy it wouldn't have been so polarizing. I think the fact that she's a woman made it a much harder uphill battle. They've had the Arkansas Project where for 25 years the Clintons have been accused of murdering Vince Foster and accused of tons of stuff, so I thought it was a raw deal. I think that she wasn't particularly good at articulating the things that she wanted to do, and unfortunately we live at a time right now where articulating what you want to do is more potent in the electorate than the other way around, obviously, when Trump only said he was going to make America great again. Don't you think the next Democrat who runs should just run with a blue hat that says, make America great again? The reality is there are many more people who are much better qualified than me, he said when asked about a political future during the Toronto International Film Festival earlier this month. I think the reason people talk about is that our bench, in the Democratic Party, doesn't seem very good right now, it doesn't seem very exciting. By this time eight years ago we had already heard Obama give a speech at the convention and there was something going on. But right now nobody really sees anybody out there, so that's when The Rock or whoever comes into play. For me, I will support whomever I can by doing fundraisers or whatever and helping in ways I'm probably better at than in making policies. I say just try to find a candidate that excites you, and it shouldn't be me. Hey, George, here is a thought. How about you start looking at the actual person running and not the party? Maybe if you started doing what the rest of us do you wouldn't be snookered so easily every time. You have supported every liberal candidate to run for office but you refuse to look at the undue burden their liberal policies bring, and how they will affect our nation and its people. You supported former President Barack Hussein Obama and what did we get out of that? We got a world that's out of control and dangerous. A nation that doesn't know what public restroom to use and millions of people who used to be able to easily afford their health insurance premiums but now can apostrophe t. The Holloverse reports. George Clooney was raised in Georgetown, Kentucky in a devout Catholic family. One. Clooney speaks highly of his Catholic roots, saying, I used to go to confession every week. I grew up with a great sense of structure and respect. Clearly, Clooney has outgrown his childhood religion and now, has no problem telling the world he's an agnostic. In fact, some quotes indicate that Clooney might be more of an atheist. I don't believe in heaven and hell. I don't know if I believe in God. All I know is that as an individual, I won't allow this life, the only thing I know to exist, to be wasted. Still, he's very careful to stress that he has no problem with those with religious beliefs, saying. Whatever anybody believes as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, it's fair enough, and works, and I think, is real, and matters. I don't happen to have those beliefs, as much, you know, I don't believe in those things. Celebrity Superhero to the Rescue Politically, Clooney has been very active throughout his career. 
he calls himself a liberal and wonders why society has turned on liberals, saying. I'm a liberal. I'm confused when that became a bad word. The liberal movement morally, you know, has stood on the right side of an awful lot of issues. We thought that blacks should be allowed to sit at the front of the bus and women should be able to vote. McCarthy was wrong, Vietnam was a mistake. Clooney was so disturbed by genocide efforts in Darfur that he addressed the United Nations Security Council about it, hoping for more intervention. Six. It's not surprising Clooney turned his fame as an actor towards political causes. His father was a journalist who went after corrupt politicians in his time. Clooney said. My dad, who went after OPEC for raising gas prices and Gerald Ford for pardoning Richard Nixon, believed it's your responsibility, not just your right, to question authority. As you can see Clooney comes from a long line of lifelong liberals. And the truth is he has been attacking every president or politician who is a Republican or conservative for decades now. We get it, Hollywood despises those of us who are in the middle class. But keep in mind George, we are the ones who actually go out and watch the crap that you put out. So I think it's about time you start respecting the man we as a people decided to make our president. If not, it's simple, you will suffer the same fate the NFL is suffering. We, your fans, are tolerant people, but we are fast growing tired of listening to your kind try to school us on what's right and wrong.